Oh, so welcome back, you guys, into the DNC Live studio. I have an amazing guest. Our next guest is a Victoria's Secret model, but she is much more than just a beautiful, amazing woman. She is an environmental activist, and her TED Talk entitled Looks on Everything, Believe Me, I'm a Model, received close to 15 million views. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling so little. Like, I'm, I'm happy if I get like 1,300 likes. <laughs> Karen, thank you so much for being here. Okay. How nice to be here. So you're an ano anomaly, all right? You're a model who encourages <laughs> people not to focus on looks. Um, what responses have you gotten to that message? You know, I don't think I'm an anomaly. I think I got lucky and that blew up. But actually, I think models make spectacular activists. And being a model activist um, is a really wonderful way to talk about activism and, and challenge the idea that there are only some people who can be political. Mm -hmm. um, and models make great activists because they have unique access to media. Right. But I think that's a good starting point for where people can think about the unique access that they have. So mm. if you're an American, you have unique access to a vote, which you get to use soon. Mm -hmm. um, but you also might have unique access to your grandma and convincing her to vote a different way or your workplace. Uh, my workplace is not very sustainable, so I use that unique access to talk about climate change. Okay, so let's talk about that. Let's talk about environmental issues. Why are those issues so important to you? And, and, and through what lens are you viewing them, and how are you trying to encourage other people to get involved? That's a great question. Um, you know, the first part is I think everybody needs to be concerned with climate change. We have to be concerned with it in this election. We have four years to reach a tipping point in 2020, so this president really matters, a okay. tipping point in emissions. Um, but I also have been thinking about it recently in terms of responsibility. You know, as an American, we have a history of being major polluters. Hmm. And I think it is our responsibility to elect the only candidate who believes in climate change. We do not want to have the only head of state in the entire world that does not believe in climate change. Right. But even more than that, it's important for us to hold her accountable and hold our leaders accountable after this election because the damage that we are doing to the world right now. We've already warmed one degree. Mm -hmm. The Global South is already experiencing that, and some parts of our country are already experiencing that. So, 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 so along those lines, um, some people out there say, oh, it's, it's, it's distraction to talk about whether the politician believes or doesn't believe in climate change. Uh, they, a lot of young people say, oh, they're both the same. It's all the same. It's all, uh, you know, the, the game is rigged anyway. Mm -hmm. How and, and in what ways do you think young people will connect to an environmental message and how can we convince or how are you working to convince them that that voting actually is important rather than you know they're both the same it's all rigged you know I'm gonna throw my hands up and do my thing over here you know I've said that before I think it is all rigged okay. <laughs> I think that we do almost live in an oligarchy um, but the reason I think this vote is important is because we can't vote for a candidate that is hateful and we can't vote for a candidate that will, I think, bring a lot of suffering to a lot of people. Mm. And, you know, I'm going to be with her on Election Day. But after that, she needs to be with us because progress comes with the people, does okay. not come without the people. Beautifully said. And so Tere was just you, you couldn't hear him, but I could. He was teasing me about Instagram and he said, you know, no, ask her, ask her how to get your Snapchat up, right? And so um, since you have so many viewers, let's do a little snap real quick and you can sort of help me with my Snapchat game. All right. Does that work? Okay. Yeah, let's, let's snap do it. something. Okay, you ready? <laughs> I'll do a little snap. Okay. Do I get to interview you on the snap? Yeah, yeah, interview me. Okay, so you know how so it works? Short. It's, it's yeah, short. I know it's short. Okay. That's why I won't even get an answer out. Okay. Okay, you ready? Okay. Why should people vote this fall? People need to vote this fall because, for me, Supreme Court, right? There's going to be potentially three seats up over the next four years. We, we can't let them have that. All right, is it done? Terrain, to you, my buddy Alexander Soros is coming up next.